Hey guys, it's Clara from Online Fabric Store. Upholstered headboards with nail head trim have a timeless quality that can go with many styles. If you want this high-end look, I'll show you how to do it yourself for a fraction of the price. So let's get started. Cut a piece of plywood to the width and height you want the headboard. Mine is going to be 61 inches wide and 30 inches tall for a queen sized bed. Cut a 2x4 to the width of the headboard and two pieces that are the height minus 3.5 inches. Place the long piece of wood flush along the top of the headboard and screw from the back. Do the same for the smaller pieces on the sides. Cut the foam to fit inside the wood frame with a serrated knife. Mine's already the correct width, so I'm just cutting off the extra at the bottom. I'm using two inch thick upholstery foam, which is slightly thicker than the wood frame. Use a spray adhesive that's good for foam to attach it. Cut a piece of batting or padding that's big enough to wrap around the sides to the back. Mine isn't wide enough, so I'm using two pieces and attaching it with spray adhesive. If your piece is large enough, you don't have to use the spray adhesive. Staple the center of each side and work out towards the corners. Cut off the extra padding, including at the corners. I'm using half inch upholstery deck padding, which is stiffer than batting for a crisp look at the edges. Cut a piece of fabric that's large enough to wrap around the back. Since I'm using a solid fabric, I can run it horizontally instead of vertically, but if you have a fabric with a pattern, you may have to sew pieces together. Start stapling in the center of each side and work your way out, pulling the fabric taut. I'm using an upholstery velvet, but you can use just about any home decor fabric. At the corners, staple all the way to the corner on one side and leave extra space on the other. Fold the fabric from the stapled side under the fabric from the other side. Adjust the fold so you have one crease right at the corner. Staple in place, then cut off the excess fabric. These decorative nail heads are going to be two inches in from the edges. To keep the line straight and the spacing even, I'm using masking tape. Place the first nail at the corner and hammer it into the wood with a rubber mallet so the nail isn't damaged. Mark your desired distance between the centers of the nail on the masking tape. I'm going to have a quarter of an inch between the nails, which are half an inch wide, so I'm marking every three quarters of an inch. Line up the nail at the edge of the tape next to a mark. Start to hammer, but peel back the tape before hammering it in all the way. Repeat down the sides and across the top. Even with the tape, it's hard to keep the nails straight and even, so you may have to pry some up and try again. You can also hit the side of the nail head to adjust it slightly. We also carry the kind of trim where the heads are attached together in a strip. This is faster and easier to install, but doesn't have the high-end look of individual nails. Once the nail head trim is done, it's ready to hang. You can hang the headboard in a number of ways, but I'm using a French cleat. It's a good idea to put it over the padding and the fabric so that it can hook onto the other side, which screws into the wall. The headboard side slides down into the wall side of the cleat to secure it. Now you can make your own headboard in many shapes and sizes and customize it in your own way. Thanks for watching this OFS project. The materials used in this project are plywood, 2x4s, upholstery foam, decor fabric, I'm using Bella upholstery velvet, padding, spray adhesive, a rubber mallet, screws in a drill, a staple gun, scissors, a serrated knife, decorative nail heads, and masking tape. <laughs>